Hey hey, this goes John Longs the Ball and Bob, Bob of the Theme Parks and welcome to this small news update from Tato Park over in Ireland. Now according to an Irish uh, local news source, Tato Park have been given permission uh, and planning permission granted to add their two roller coasters in 2021. Now apparently this could face opposition, uh, apparently the plans have been facing opposition from people uh, and they could, uh, they could appeal the decision, uh, they could try and uh, overrule it. Um, but that that was that was sort of towards the end of the article, so it may may not happen. It probably won't happen because uh, they've already granted point applications, so it is going to be hard to overturn a already granted decision. It's going to be hard, but again, there is that possibility. So basically, if you don't know what's going down, I did a video on on this uh, way back. I think a couple, uh, uh, nearly two months ago now, which is unbelievable um, how time progresses. So yeah, I did a video on this when it was first announced. Um, of course, if you don't know what's happening, basically they're doing what Paltons Park did when they added a family boomerang and a suspended family coaster. However, this Tato Park version is the suspended thrill coaster. So this is like this is like the suspended family coaster. However, this is going to have a couple of inversions. Um, so basically, while I've got uh, the source up here, um, I'm going to be talking through. Uh, the layout as I watch it. I'm, I'm looking at Screenscape as I watch this. Um, so basically, if you want to find the video, it's on Coaster Nation's YouTube channel. There's a, a potential layout for the Tato Park coasters based on the planning application. So, uh, starting off then with the suspended uh, thrill coaster by the Coma. Um, so you'll go straight up into the lift door. So this is. Um, so if you want to watch the video, at Coaster Nation's YouTube channel. This is a project mock-up. Uh, of the 2021 coaster project at Tato Park, so uh, I'm going to talk through the layout as I watch it. Uh, so again, starting with the uh, suspended coaster, so you're going down the lift hill, a bit of a tilted drop, and you're going into the first inversion, the zero G roll. Again, this is a mock up. Uh, going into a bit of an overbank turn, coming out through the other side, banking right, dipping down, banking left, going up, and banking right into a turn. Um, and then up into the turn, and then you go into what it seems like a, a heartline roll into a turn to the right, which will dive down, it will dive deeper down. Then it will dive down again, and you'll go into a very high overbank turn, very steep overbank turn. Bit of gliding here and there, a bit like a Zampola Volley kind of glide bank into the left and the right, but I think it's right to the left. Then you're going to bank into a zero G roll, and then dip into the brakes. So that's the mock-up of the suspended thrill coaster layout that was on the Coaster Nation video. I think if it's anything like that, I think we're going to be on to a winner. And of course, the family boomerang is your typical Vacoma boomer family boomerang, like um, your Ben 10 at Drake Manor, which now became came Accelerator uh, Rake over at Fantasyland, uh, which of course is a different layout to Accelerator, but it's the, it's the same type of uh, make. Of course, they did mention in the plans that it was two roller coasters in one, so we're getting two very good coasters. And I think, even though this one has inversions, I, st I still do relate this similar to Paltons Park. So, after you come up that backwards lift hill, you fly through the station like any other coming from the boomerang. You bank up in the left, then bank right, through the coaster, weaving left, right, left, right, uh, down. And then you're going to bank left, take a bit of a dip, up, upward turn to the left. Bit of a S bendy type thing, and then you're gonna go up into that top section, which of course sends you down the rest of the layout backwards. So again, like any other Vacoma boomerang, obviously it's a differentiated layout to the, to the traditional boot family boomerang, like your Ben 10 at Drayton Manor and things like that. But again, I'm still very impressed with this investment. I think Tato Park's got a nice investment going down um, down there. So basically, if you don't know. Uh, some of the details. The local news source where I got all this from was, of course, Irish Examiner. Uh, so, uh, if you don't know already, they're aiming to build the attraction, uh, build the attraction next year, and then open it in 2021. So, coaster 2021 um, will be 32 meters high, like Kuka Lane, but 400 meters longer. So, this is about the Vacoma Suspended Thrill Coaster. Uh, the Apartment Authority has given the go-ahead in spite of a small number of objections by locals. Um, now, of course, the opposition to the roller coaster uh, raised the threat that the decision may be, appeal may be appealed to Anne Board Pianala, I think it is. Um, so, 
But apparently, according to the document, they say if Tato Park operators didn't add a major attraction at this time, the longer term viability of the park would be brought into question. So basically, if they didn't add an attraction, then the park's future would be in doubt. So, in a way, I kind of get why people are opposing the decision, like any other theme park development, but again, I do want to see theme parks up and running, no matter where they are in the world. Uh, and Tato Park is becoming, the, it, it, well, it's already the park in Ireland. It is Ireland's best theme park. Um, Ireland's best amusement park. Um, so, again, um, I kind of get why they want to try and impose the decision, but I do think that they need to keep this decision as it is. Planning permission has been granted, so I don't think we'll see any construction work until 2020. Of course, we won't know anything about the name or the theme until next year. Uh, so I don't think there's going to be any other Tato Park news updates, unless there's any new rides being announced for the future. Uh, but there's no other... No, oh, I hardly think there's going to be any other news updates um, on this until we actually get the first details of construction or any details about the name or the theme. <coughs> It'll probably be this time next close season. I mean, it could be any of those times. So again, I can't wait to see your guys' reaction to the name of the theme when it gets released. Uh, and I hope you guys love this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. We've hit 220 subs and 26,000 views across all the videos, which is unbelievable. It's like 161 videos, which is unbelievable in that short period of time. Uh, so thank you very much. My name is Coach Chad Longstable, what built for theme parks. Keep them the curse of our dudes, and I will see you guys in the next video soon. Goodbye from Tokyo Park, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.